Meghan Markle reveals that Beyonce texted her after her bombshell interview with Oprah. Tyler Perry explains how Prince Harry and Meghan came to him for help. Plus, Harry says his daughter reminds him of his late mother and recalls his screaming match with his brother. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life with your Royals Roundup today as Volume 2 of Harry and Meghan's Netflix docuseries has been released. Starting off with a lovely moment in the dramatic show when Prince Harry revealed who he feels his two children take after. The proud father of two said, I think at the moment I see a lot of my wife in Archie, while he sees his late mother, Princess Diana, in his daughter Lily. He told the cameras, she's very Spencer-like, she's got the same blue eyes. We're sure Lilibet will grow up to be just as beautiful as her grandmother as well. Moving on to Tyler Perry, because the Medea star was featured in this part of the docuseries and opened up about how he connected with Meghan and Harry and eventually helped house them after they stepped down from their royal duties and left the UK. Tyler revealed that he reached out to Meghan before her 2018 wedding after seeing all the drama surrounding her father, Thomas Markle, and the royal institution. The actor admitted that he could, quote, hear the fear in her voice. And later, when Meghan called him to open up about her mental health struggles, he said he felt that she was being abused. Tyler went on to lend them his LA mansion along with security to keep them safe. Harry said that they were there for six weeks and the couple eventually made Tyler the godfather of their daughter. Honestly, thank goodness he was there for them during that horrifying time. Another person who sent her love to Meghan Markle during those trying times was Beyonce. In the docuseries, Meghan revealed a text that she got from the Queen Bee after her bombshell 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey. Beyonce pretty much checked in on the Duchess to see how she was doing with all that was going on. Megan said that she said that she wants me to feel safe and protected. She admires and respects my bravery and vulnerability and thinks I was selected to break generational curses that need to be healed. And finally, onto the drama surrounding Prince Harry and Prince William during their Sandingram family meeting in 2020. In the final episode of the Harry and Meghan docuseries, Harry revealed what really happened during that meeting and the options he was given by his family when he no longer wanted to be a royal. First, he admitted that the family appeared to wait for Meghan to leave the country for a trip to Canada before having the family meeting. Harry told the Netflix cameras, I was given five options. One, being all in, no change. Five, being all out. I chose option three in the meeting, half in, half out have our own jobs, but we also work in support of the Queen. It became very clear very quickly that goal was not up for discussion or debate. He continued to explain that his brother screamed at him, saying it was terrifying to have my brother scream and shout at me and my father say things that just simply weren't true and my grandmother quietly sit there and take it all in. Harry confessed that the saddest part of the whole situation was the wedge created between himself and his brother so that he's now on the institution's side. He said, part of that I get, I understand. That's his inheritance. Following the meeting, a joint statement was released by the brothers, refuting claims that Harry was bullied by William to leave the royal family. However, Harry revealed in the series that he never actually signed off or knew about that statement until he saw it in the papers himself. He said within four hours, they were happy to lie to protect my brother, and yet for three years, they were never willing to tell the truth to protect us, calling it his and Meghan's breaking point. Well, this is truly such heartbreaking revelations from the docuseries. I hope that William and Harry are able to put aside their differences after they've both been through so much together over the years. But tell us what you guys think about the series in the comments below, and hit the sub, like, and bell button for all the latest news on your favorite celebs. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Ali Stegnita. Bye, guys.